Anna here for the tech scene, Scenester TV at Collision 2017, where I was eating lunch and um, accidentally uh, sat down next to Vince from Avast, where I constantly use Avast VPN because I'm using always um, coffee shop Wi-Fi's um, tech geek to the core. I love it, it's essential, I think everyone should use it. So I had to ask questions about online security because online security is everything, especially coming up in the future. So um, tell me your role in everything with Avast. Well, thanks. It was great to meet you yesterday. But uh, I'm the CEO of Avast, and Avast, for people who don't know it, is the world's most popular cybersecurity solution. And it's good to know that you use the VPN product because people don't realize when you use a public Wi-Fi, anyone else on that Wi-Fi can see everything you do, and you, by using the VPN product, have really secured yourself. I mean, basically, it's the easiest way to hack, correct? Public Wi-Fi. Oh, absolutely, because we all use public Wi-Fi. We use it with our phones, we use it with our laptops, we do email, we do Facebook, we even do banking, and we do lots of things that you want to keep private. What, what would you tell the average Joe, like, how to stay secure? I mean, is it complicated? What would you tell the average Joe? Well, the average Joe, uh, usually you got two issues. One is public Wi-Fi, use a VPN. Doesn't matter if it's ours or not, just use one. And second, when you're in your home, uh, you, everything goes through your home router. Home routers can be easily attacked. So what you should use is our um, AV product. It's free for either Mac or PC and it will scan your home network and tell you what security issues you are you have and how to fix them. You knowing everything about security, what would be like the worst case for most people who are lazy and don't use anything? Well, we got to realize that the weakest part of security is the person. People are easily hacked, especially with phishing attacks. And so the worst case is really a phishing attack where you get a, a email that looks real, you, you open it or you click on it, and suddenly your computer is encrypted and you have to pay the hacker money to get it back, or they are doing it to steal your password for banking, email, etc help prevent ransomware at all because that's the new big thing that's happening yes ransomware is uh, is real popular in the last quarter we have stopped six million ransomware attacks that sounds like a big number but in the last quarter we have stopped 10 billion pieces of malware a uh, period and yes we do stop ransomware you got to use a lot of AI to detect ransomware and the curious thing about ransomware is most of it frankly comes out of Russia um, and um, it, it is uh, once you get infected by ransomware, you basically have no way of recovering other than paying the hijacker the money or by um, reconstructing what you had on your computer, either from a backup or whatnot. Okay, so last question. Um, let's say you know everything going on with security. Do you personally feel that it's even possible to have any kind of like re real personal privacy? Well, I don't think personal privacy has much to do with secure, uh, with whether you're secure or not. Um, you know, security is protecting yourself against uh, attackers, hackers, ones who are trying to steal money, steal your personal information. But none of us have any personal privacy on the internet. If you use Facebook, Facebook knows everything about you. If you use Google, Google knows everything about you. If you use WeChat, they know everything about you. If you know WhatsApp, they know everything about you. So just by using the internet, you have surrendered your personal privacy. But for most of us, the convenience and the advantage and the benefits we get from the internet are worth sacrificing that information. Thank you so much for interviewing. Yeah. That, was, that was great. I love it.